That's Robin. He's a man with a heart of gold, but he wasn't without his flaws. That is a thug for one of the bookies that Robin owes money to. And that's me, Robin's clock. The thug is teaching him a lesson about not paying his gambling debts. Or I should say, he will be teaching him a lesson. How do I know this? Because I've seen the future. I have been sitting unused and collecting dust in a cold, dark basement until one day he found me at a yard sale. I wanted to tell time again, and he needed a clock, since even degenerate gamblers need to keep track of when the ball game or the horse race is about to start. He never really understood what was happening, but at a subconscious level, I could nudge him in the right direction. It took a while, but I even got him on a more regular schedule. I worked really hard on that. We were good for each other. I was kept warm and dry, telling time again. He always knew when the games were about to start. It wasn't always possible, but whenever I knew he was about to place a bet on a game or a race on the radio, I'd look forward to see who won and then do everything I could to help him out. He had an exceptionally bad run where things just didn't go his way on some big games. So he bet even more to chase his losses. I tried to help, but he just spiraled. He, he won sometimes, but it was one step forward, two steps back, one step forward, two steps back, until his bookie Johnny finally cut him off, telling him to, he had to pay up his debts. Robin Merkovic, this is your third and last warning. I want my money now. Hey, you, go and get him. Big loss was devastating. Robin called all over town trying to find another bookie to pay back Johnny, but the word was out. Nobody was taking his action. And now, Robin is stuck in a hole that he can't dig himself out of. I know that at precisely 121, someone is going to come through that door looking to collect from a well-run dry. Did I enable him? Addiction. I hope I don't see another baseman again. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe I shouldn't have helped him with his bets. I never saw him again after that. <laughs>